today in media we were asked to answer a question. The first one is, what did you learn from your editing of your music video, considering the following areas, lip syncing, use of effects and transitions, use of shot types, types of editing using sound. And I said, I learned how to lip sync, which is why I belong to the lyrics of the song. This was complicated at first, as timing is extremely important. Some of the lip syncing of my video is perfectly matched, but other parts are quite out of time which is something that could be improved in the future. The use of effects and transitions are essential in music videos as it is to capture the audience and engage with them till the end, meaning in simple terms that it can't be boring. The transitions ensure that the continuity is smoother and also add an element of fun depending on which transition is used. Close-up shots of most the most widely used shot in music videos we need to feel the emotion of the singer. We also might use a mid-shot to capture any action or movement from the performer or performers. For example, in this shot, is used if there's any dancing in the music video, which I did use in mine. The cuts in my music video are quite short and fast to give a certain effect to match the movement and pace of the song, which is quite upbeat. It is vital that the shots used identify the beat of the music. For example, at the beginning, the nodding and flashing of the lights is milking the beat and kind of to set the pace for the rest of the song. The second question was, to what extent did you conform to the music video conventions, which are, the first line is always sung by the singer, everything is done to the beat of the music, images match the, some of the lyrics of the song, and the mise en scene relates to the genre and intertextuality, which is anything that brings value to you. I conform to the first convention as a singer, which was Mr. Dunford, since the first time of the song. I have done this as he is the main motive throughout, and it, as in he has more lines than any of the other performers, highlighting to the audience that he's like the, the artist of the song. This is done mainly to give the song identity and to sing the artist. I've also followed the second convention by using head nodding and foot tapping at the beginning of the song to set the pace of the tempo. The third convention has also been followed to some extent. For example, the line, and then we'll choke, it's like our next in a noose. We see a picture of a hangman, which is like in a noose. And the line kick starts again, we see Josh kick going to the air, so that matches the lyrics. The genre of the music is quite dancey and kind of a club anthem, and so it was appropriate to include a bit of dancing into it, which I had. We've been before, you meant to sort out with before. Although the music is in a normal. classroom, so this convention wasn't really followed, even though we didn't really have the choice well, we of setting. I followed uh, intertextuality to a certain extent also, as one of my close friends, Alice Johnson, was included in a music video, and we had quite a lot of laughs making it, so it does mean something.